Everybody, class has started. These are the problems to do. Remember, practice makes perfect. Just do all these problems and call it a day, guys. Try. It's not that I'm not trying, it's just the teachers are giving us too much work and no one is motivated to do their work anymore. And the teachers aren't even teaching. Well, what am I going to do about it? Hmm. My dad is an industrial engineer and he actually solves problems that are similar to this all the time. How is someone in manufacturing going to help the school out? You see, I'll explain it to you in simple terms. An industrial engineer is someone who can improve the processes of pretty much anything. Well, maybe I should give him a call. Hi, this is Selene's father. Yes, you told me that you could help me maybe with some problems I've been having at the school. Do you think uh, you can come in and we can chat? Okay, yeah. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm Joe with the IE. It's nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. So, Selene told me that you can help fix some of the problems that I'm having at the school. Uh, what do you think I should do? Well, I think the first step you need to take is identifying the problem. Well, our teachers and students aren't very motivated, and our students aren't performing very well on their assignments. Um, well, I guess the first question I want to ask you is, you know, what are you trying to do as a school? You know, what is your goal? Well, I guess that would be to educate students. Um, okay. Well, I mean, this is a private school, right? Yeah. So I think your first goal really should just be to stay, you know, in business, right? And you do that by educating students. So what do you think we can change this going through this? Well, one thing I noticed while I was here was that classes here are very small. Um, and I think, you know, to, to save money, the best thing you could do is combine those classes. You know, I get that you, you lose that kind of small class experience, but I think you know, in times like these where you, you kind of need the money for the school to survive, I think it would be more cost effective to have those bigger classes you know, because individual classes use a lot of resources. Okay. Okay, so how do you think I can increase students' motivation in the classroom? Um, I think one thing you could do, and I mean, based on what I've heard, I think students would agree with me on this. Um, I think you could lessen the workload that you give them. Um, you know, I get that the, the work you give them, it's meant to help them learn, but I think having them work 100% of the time, you know, all, all, every hour that they have spending on work, I don't think it's the best way to do things here. Um, you know, because having them work 100% of the time isn't going to make them learn 100% of the time necessarily. Um, and I think they would be more motivated if they had time to do other things and then come back to that work with kind of a new perspective. Well, I never thought that giving them less work would make them more productive. I know, I mean, it seems counterintuitive, but it does make sense. And, you know, teachers I think you were saying teachers were also kind of unmotivated. I think, you know, when teachers see that their students are motivated, I think they're going to be a lot more motivated. So I think they're going to become a lot better at teaching as well. Okay. You know, I really like your thinking. I'm going to start applying these changes to the school. All right, that's great to hear. Yeah, and I'll let you know how it goes too. And so we applied the changes and the students have been more motivated. They've been more productive. The teachers are teaching, they're motivated. 
And we're saving a lot of money in the long run by combining the classrooms. Hey, Dad, Thank look. You. I finally got an A. Wow, it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for your help. Yeah, IEs are awesome.